بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين لا سيما بقية الله في الأرضين جل الله تعالى فرجه الشريف اللهم أخرجني من ظلمات الفهم وأكرمني بنور الفهم اللهم افتح علينا أبواب رحمتك وانشر علينا خزان علومك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين الحمد لله بيهاف توفيق to continue our study of جامع السعادات and inshallah today we have a discussion about تسليم and then a discussion about the role that salat can play in our reception of knowledge and ma'rifah then inshallah next session we will talk about Imamul Jama'ah about the spiritual uh, manners that Imam of Jama'ah should observe so first Taslim we already talked about Tashahud now we are talking about Taslim as you know in the last Raka'ah after Tashahud we have Salam Assalamu alayka ayyuha al-nabiyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Assalamu alayna wa ala ibadillah as-salihin Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Some are mustahab, some are wajib, depending on uh, you know, your uh, marja you can find out in the risala of your relevant marja so let's see what should we observe what we should keep in mind when we are saying our salams at the end of salat faslun at taslim wa idha faraghta an tashahud after you finish and complete your tashahud in the last rak'ah because in salat which are three rak'ah or four rak'ah we have two tashahuds but we are talking about the tashahud, the last rakah. After that, so you have to be present in the presence of the Prophet وسلم, and the angels and other prophets and imams and also in particular, not only Malaikatul Muqarrabin, but also those angels who are registering your actions. al hafadatu those angels who are registering those who do ihsa they register and they you know count your amal so you must be in the presence and bring them into your mind bring all of them in your mind so when you have such understanding fasallim awalan ala nabiyyik first you say assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabiyyu wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh so you say first salam to your prophet alladhi huwa afdalul kull who is the best among these he is the one that your guidance from Allah came to you through him he is wasata he is the medium for receiving guidance and having iman then you would pay attention to uh, yourself and for example other servants of Allah uh, then you'd pay attention to others tabajjah ila al-jami wa sallim alayhim biqawlik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh but when you say assalamu alaykum or assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabi when you address then the one that you are 
talking to and addressing should be present in your mind. You should not just say something without meaning it. Otherwise, you would be من العابثين واللاعبين. You would be one of those people who do things in vain and would be doing like in you know, a game, like a play. You cannot uh, talk to someone and address someone without meaning that person. And had it not been that Allah has favor upon us, such salam could be uh, a disaster and actually would be something that would not only help, uh, would not help us, rather, what not only would not be able to help us, rather would be lowering our position. And if you are Imam and you are saying Salatul Jama'ah, uh, of course, this is different from the section which comes next week about, we have a whole chapter about Imam. Here, it's just about Salam. Then when you say Assalamu Alaikum, you mean people who are with you in that congregation and you say salam to them or you mean your salam in the first place would reach them when you do this فَقَدْ أَدَّيْتُمْ وَظِيفَةَ salam. you have carried out your duty of salam and you qualify to receive more ikram from Allah so Allah would honor you and be more generous with you Imam Sadiq alayhi salam said ma'na taslim fi dubur kull salatin al aman Imam Sadiq alayhi salam said the meaning of saying salam in the end of every salat is aman aman protection safety ay this means من أتى أمر الله وسنة نبيه خاضعا خاشعا منه فله الأمان من بلاء الدنيا والبراءة من عذاب الآخرة means that if you have done your salat with khudu and khushu now when you say salam you get protection protection from bala'i dunya calamities of dunya and protection from punishment of the hereafter wassalam ismun min asma'illah ta'ala salam is one of the names of Allah in surah hash we say al-malikul quddus salam al-mu'min al-muhaymin so it's one of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but Allah has made this available to us he has entrusted or deposited us with his name so that in our mu'amalat interactions in our amanat when entrust something to other people in when we are uh, asking for fairness when for example it's a matter of friendship we all say salam to each other and if this salam is well understood it's not just a formality it's not just a protocol this salam has deep meaning meaning that I want peace for you I want protection for you nothing harmful comes from me to you no bad intention from me for you and indeed I am praying to Allah to give you safety and protection فَإِنْ أَرَدْتَ أَنْ تَضَعَ السَّلَامُ مَوْضَعَهُ وَتُعَدِّيَ مَعْنَاهُ If you want to put salam in its right place and deliver its meaning فَاتَّقِ اللَّهُ You have to be muttaqi so that your deen remains safe your heart would be safe your aql would be safe and that is by obedience to Allah by not committing sin and also the angels who are hafadha, who are registering by being muttaqi, you don't upset them. 
by us, you know, forcing them to register, uh, to witness and then register sins and bad things. Then your friends would be safe. And even your enemy should be safe with respect to injustice, etc. That you know that you are not going to be, you know, doing injustice to him. And if you are not able to protect people who are close, then people who are farther away would be in more difficult situation. And if someone doesn't put salam in this position that we said, Fala salam, wala islam, wala taslim. His salam has no value, his islam has no value, and his taslim of salat has no value. He's a liar when he offers peace to people and he's hurting them and annoying them. Although he may do Afsha, Afsha Salam is recommended to say Salam, you know, clearly so that people understand when I meet you, I say Salam to you. But if he doesn't mean this and he doesn't act accordingly, then he's not saying Salam, he's a liar. So this chapter was about Tasli. We have another chapter today, and that is, as I said, about the impact, the outcome of Salat with respect to Ma'rifa, to certain types of knowledge. Faslun. Ifadatul anwar ala al-musalli ala qadr sifate. Lights will be granted to the Musalli who is saying his prayer proportionate to his qualities. Mullah Muhammad Mahdi al-Naraghi rahmatullah alayhi says I'lam anna takhlees as-salat an al-afat wa ikhlasaha li wajhillah وَأَدَاءَهَا بِالشُّرُوطِ الْبَاطِنَةِ الْمَذْكُورَةِ مِنَ الْحُضُورِ وَالْخُشُوءِ وَالتَّعْظِيمِ وَالْحَيْبَةِ وَالْحَيَاءِ سَبَبٌ لِحُصُولِ أَنْوَارٍ فِي الْقَلْبِ Very beautiful point, very fundamental and very beneficial. He says, if you purify your salat from bad things, afat, obstacles and things that affect salat negatively. And you purify it for the face of God, means for the sake of God. And bring it with those shurut batina, not only shurut zahira. Shurut zahira are what we study in fiqh, but that shurut with those conditions which are internal and hidden, the ones that we have talked about it and he lists min al hudur presence of heart, khushu, humility, ta'zim, revering and respecting Allah, haiba, uh, having this awe towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, positive shame. These, if are observed, takhlisu salat an al afat wa ikhlasu hawl wa jhillah wa adau ha bi shurut al batina, if these happen, this cause husul anwaren fil qalb. Some lights will be projected to your heart. Takunu tilka al anwar mafatiha lil ulum al batina. They will be, those lights will be keys for hidden kinds of knowledge to come to you. وَإِنَّمَا يَفِيضُ مِنْهُ عَلَى كُلِّ مُسَلِّنْ عَلَى قَدْرِ السَّفَائِهِ مِنْ كُدُورَاتِ الدُّنْيَا How much these lights will be given? It depends on how much safa. Safa means purity. Safi. When water is very clean, and very transparent, they say Alma o Safi. Safa, Safi. 
uh, for tasriya, you know, for, for purification, refining, they call tasriya. So, depending on how much heart of Musalli is pure and clean from kudurat, kudurat are those darknesses that word, this hubbu dunya would cause. And this can vary some people may have more some people less some people may have a strong sense some people weaker sense some people maybe have it with jala with shining some people maybe khafa is hidden but more or less depending on how much you have purified your heart you get these lights and then so the strength and degree of this light ch is uh, changing and varying. Also, what knowledge you receive? What are those ma'luma, those subjects that you will know if you do your salat properly? He says those sciences, those things that would be disclosed uh, would be different. For some people, attributes of God glory of God would be disclosed. يَخْتَلِفُ إِذَنْ بِمَا يَنْكَشِفُ مِنَ الْعُلُومِ فَيَنْكَشِفُ لِبَعْضِهِمْ مِنْ صِفَاتِ اللَّهِ وَجَلَالِهِ For some of the Musalleen, <coughs> sorry, qualities of Allah, glory of Allah will be disclosed. وَلِبَعْضِهِمْ مِنْ عَجَائِبِ أَفْعَالِهِ Some of them would be able to understand and see without hijab for example uh, some wonders of his actions some of them would understand uh, subtle points about you know mu'amala mu'amala with people for example how to interact with people some people understand other things Maybe someone understands Quran better, for example. Among things that are more likely to know is those things that this Musalli was himself very concerned about them, those things that he was really, really trying to understand. If there are issues that you are really interested in understanding, Salat can help you, inshallah, to get light to understand them. Those things that Yahumu was his concern, was important for him. Yakunu fi talabi, he was searching for it. And then he says, Elama dhakarna, to what we have said, which is, some al ifadat al ilviya ilviya means from high some of these ifadat some of these uh, you know um, you can say um, inspirations and gracious inspira inspirations coming from top from high uh, to the person uh, because of salat which is performed properly so to this, uh, this hadith has referred to. There's a hadith from Prophet that refers to this. Hadith says, "Inna al-'abd idha qama fi salah, rafa Allahu al-hijab bainahu wa bain abd." If a servant, a true servant, stands up for salat, Allah would let him in. Hijab would be removed between Allah and this servant. He's not a stranger, he's a trusted person. Hijab would be removed. Allah would encounter him with his face, face to face. Wajhullah, and this person also has come with his waj, so would be best encounter. وَقَامَتِ الْمَلَائِكَةُ مِنْ لَدُنْ مِنْ كَبَعِ From shoulders up to the sky, 
angels will be occurring when he says salat they also say send salutations and when he says dua, in some dua they say amin you aminun ala dua they send amin and then in al musalli la yunsharu alayhi al birr min a'nan al sama ila mafraq ras goodness would be distributed from skies or heaven from sky up to his head and a munadi someone will call law alam al musalli man yunaji mal tafata we had this before if musalli knew whom he is whispering to he would not turn around he would remain focused and perhaps doesn't want to stop his salat wa in abwab as-sama tuftahu lil musallin gates of heaven would be opened for musallin those who say salat wa in allah yubahi malaikatahu bisadq al musalli allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would do mubahat with his angels this expression we have in several hadith uh, of course the sifat fail means allah is very happy in front of angels that there is such a servant who is with sadq and truthfulness is doing about perhaps one reason allah is very happy because the angels were questioning why allah should appoint his vicegerent on the earth from human beings and they said you know you've said of yes now they can see the beautiful face of human beings as well fa'in now you may say okay true but what's the relation between what we said here and knowledge we said abwabu sama will be opened uh, and uh, hijab would be removed but what about knowledge he says fa in raf al hijab wa fatha abwab al sama kinayatun an ifadat al ulum al batinah alay when we say hijab is removed veil is removed and gates of open are uh, sorry gates of heaven are opened it means that this person can see ghayb and get some ulum batine ulum batine means those things that you don't learn it in the school or by reading books these are knowledge and information and ma'rifa which are hidden these are not conventional and it is mentioned in torah yabna adam o son of adam لا تعجز أن تقوم بين يدي مصليا باك. Don't be incompetent, so incompetent that you cannot stand before me, praying and crying. فأنا الله الذي اقتربت فأنا الله الذي اقتربت من قلبك. I am the one that got very close to your heart, and you saw my light in قيب. فبالغيب رأيت نوري. Also we have إن العبد إذا صلى ركعتين when a servant makes two two rak'ah salat properly. This properly is what I say because this is what it means. Then there would be rows of angels who would be very surprised in a positive way, and in every of these ten rows there would be Ashrat Allah of ten thousand angels, so altogether hundred thousand angels. They are showing appreciation of this person who is saying salat properly, two rakah salat. Then Allah min Naraghi has a kind of beautiful point here. Maybe it's new for you. He says. 
Salat is such a beautiful combination of ruku and sujood and qira'ah, etc. It, that even angels are surprised with this. They don't have something like Salat. Some angels have ruku all the way they are doing ruku. Some have sujood. Those who have ruku don't do sujood. Those who are doing sujood, they don't do ruku. And they are very surprised that human beings do all these things together. You know, salat is a mixture of actions and words. And hajj is a mixture of salat and tawaf and sai. Hajj is also amazing. But it involves salat. It's not without salat. وَذَلِكَ لَأَنَّ الْعَابْدِ جَمَعَ فِي الصَّلَاةِ Why these angels come? Hundred thousand. And they are admiring this. Because this servant has put together Qiyam, Qa'ud, Qiyam standing, Qa'ud sitting, Ruku bending, Sujood prostration. الذكر باللسان الذكر سبحان ربي العظيم الحمد سبحان ربي العظيم وغير ذلك قراءة ستة تكبير وليس لملك من الملائكة هذا القسم من العبادة الجامعة بين الكل angels don't have such عبادة which has all these things بل هذه الأفعال موزعة عليهم these actions are distributed among the angels. فَبَعْضُهُمْ قَائِمُونَ لَا يَرْكَعُونَ إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامِ Some of them are always in the condition of Qiyam. They never go to Ruku. فَبَعْضُهُمْ قَائِمُونَ لَا يَرْكَعُونَ إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامِ بَعْضُهُمْ سَاجِدُونَ لَا يَرْفَعُونَ إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامِ Some are in the condition of Sajda. Up to day of judgment, they don't uh, come uh, out of sajda. Hakeza arraqeun. Some are always ruku, doing ruku. Some are qaidun, always sitting. Fa in ma uti al malaika min al qurbi wa rutba lazimun lahum mustamirun ala halatin wahida. لا تزيد ولا تنقص. According to many of our scholars, especially those who have philosophical approach, they say angels have fixed position. Whatever degree of nearness to Allah they have, it's fixed. Would not increase, would not decrease. وليس لهم مرتبة الترقي من درجة إلى أخرى. They cannot rise. And upgrade themselves. وَبَابُ الْمَزِيدِ مَسْدُودٌ عَلَيْهِمْ There is no door open to them for increase. وَلِذَلِكَ قَالُوا وَمَا مِنَّا إِلَّا لَهُ مَقَامٌ مَعْلُومٌ There is none of us except their position is fixed. بِخِلَافِ الْإِنسَانِ Insan is different. فَإِنَّ لَهُ التَّرَقِّي فِي الدَّرَجَاتِ Human beings can upgrade. وَالتَّقَلُّبْ فِي أَطْوَارِ الْكَمَالَاتِ They can have transformation, they can have changes. Of course, not always necessarily to the good, but they can change to the better, to the worse. وَمِفْتَاهُ مَزِيدِ الدَّرَجَاتِ هِيَ الصَّلَاةِ This is the sentence that we have to remember from today. Inshallah, you remember many things from today, but especially remember this one. Miftahu mazid darajat yasalah. And angels don't have this miftah. The key for going to higher degrees is salat. Now you understand why we say as salatu mi'rajul mu'min. Mu'min can ascend in Salat. Qala Allah subhanah. Let us refer to the Qur'an and benefit from Qur'an. 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم قد أفلح المؤمنون الذين هم في صلاتهم خاشعون who have فلاح who have success salvation المؤمنون those who have true iman but then after praising them for iman Allah says they have salat but especial salat salat and mahsusa what is the salat mahsusa what is the special salat that they have khashi'un salatul khashi'in they have salat with khushu with humility and then also Allah says walladhina hum ala salatihim yuhafizun these are the people who are very much taking care of their salat. They are very careful about their salat, not to miss, not to delay. And then Allah says, أُولَاءُكَ هُمُ الْوَارِثُونَ الَّذِينَ يَرِثُونَ الْفِرْدَوْسَ هُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ This is Surah Mu'minun, verses 9 to 11. So, these are those who inherit paradise. هم فيها خالدون and will be there forever so فلاح and inheriting heaven are for those who do proper salat فوصفهم بالفلاح أولا وبوراثة الفردوس آخرا in the beginning says that they have فلاح they have salvation success and then says they are inheriting for those for those is the same as what we say paradise it seems paradise is from the same thing for those in farsi you have we have paradis are those who inherit for those okay what happens if someone inherits for those those who inherit heaven are those who can witness and observe light of Allah by being near to him with their heart so in Salat, you can be like the people who are in heaven. And that's, that's it actually the key for getting there. Of course, every rational person, every intelligent person understands that anna mujarrada harakat al lisan, just you know, moving this tongue, well jawara, you know, moving your body, going to ruku, sujood, you know, raising your hand, etc. While your heart is heedless, would not lead to this. So we are not talking about someone who just brings the physics of Salat. This is for people who bring Salat with presence of heart, with khuzu, with khushu, with haya, with Tajleel for Ta'zim for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, Alhamdulillah, this part also finished. Inshallah, in the next session, we will enter into another chapter about what Imam al Jama'ah should observe. Ma yanbaghi fi Imam al Jama'ah. Imam al Jama'ah, in addition to observing everything we said so far, he has the role of leadership so he has a greater responsibility and therefore we have to discuss what should Imam al Jama'ah try to achieve and bring in Salat Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen okay in terms of questions we have uh, one question that I see here on the uh, form to uh, now so the first question is, why do we need shafa'ah if we have done the wajibat and kept away from haram? 
in reference to last week's uh, discussion on tashahhud? Because the still there may be some sins that even we didn't notice or if we notice maybe we didn't manage to do to uh, so, so we need Shafa for this is why I say that those things that we ne we know we have to fix it ourselves not let it for Shafa but for sure there are things that uh, still we need help some shortcoming something we forgot we failed etc and uh, maybe sometimes shafa can be also in helping with ra raising your degree uh, so the example i use is that for example a student who uh, studies hard tries to be prepared for exam maybe one question two questions he doesn't know then the teacher may help with the activities that he had you know class you know activity etc assignments help him but if you don't have anything and just want to benefit from help of the teacher would not work and why should teacher should help you if you have not a study teacher can help someone that throughout the year was showing commitment interest doing things as much as he could so now if something he doesn't know or he didn't get complete mark he can help he can intercede you know for example go and speak to the principal etc thank you uh, yeah. next question says that some Shia read the Salam and then turn their heads is that allowed after Salam it's okay not before salam before salam we should not turn our face from qibla to the right or left but when you are saying takbirat after salat then that's dif different uh, the next question is uh, uh, in terms of that uh, islam some at some point we say assalamu alayna wa ala ibadillah salihin so what is the meaning and understanding behind assalamu alayna uh, yeah he, he he didn't uh, discuss that much because also that according to for example you know people like imam khomeini uh, you can just say assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa and even maybe some say wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh is not there so assalamu alayna wa rahmatullahi wa salihin you can bring it or you can bring assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh anyway he didn't mention here that much about that but who are these alayna it seems that alayna are the people who are saying prayer because in the discussions about social belaya i said that it seems that Salat is designed to be performed in Jama'ah. If we do it Furada, it's just okay. But the main uh, order is to be in Jama'ah. From Iyya Kana'bud up to Assalamu Alayna is plural. Even if you look at Adhan and Iqama, it shows that it's match, it matches more with Jama'ah. Yeah? Why I should say, if I am alone, Hayya ala salah, Hayya ala falah, Hayya. Even call for prayer is more suitable for Jama'ah. So the whole thing is designed to be performed in Jama'ah, but you, you can say, you know, it's like you are forgiven. <laughs> If you do it for other it's like that you know that the main uh, condition is jama'ah so assalamu alayna those who are here saying salat together although some people say for example the angels who are here but maybe this is uh, maybe more suitable that we people who are doing salat here but also we are not to be separating ourselves from other mu'mineen 
Therefore we say, وَعَلَىٰ إِبَادِ اللَّهِ الصَّالِحِينَ إِبَادِ اللَّهِ الصَّالِحِينَ In other places, إِبَادِ اللَّهِ الصَّالِحِينَ Maybe even other times, they were also إِبَادُ اللَّهِ And before us, after us, so we first unite ourselves as a team, then we unite this team with other teams. Yeah, uh, are there any other live questions at this time? It seems not. And in terms of the uh, Facebook, we don't see any questions there. So I think this covers it for today's questions. Inshallah. Lots of thank yous also coming through on the chat. Thank you. Inshallah. Remember us your du'as and we hope Inshallah Allah would help us to benefit from this great month of Sha'ban. Inshallah. Thank you very much.